Today's daily thoughts about prayer and is prayer effective and who can use it and who can't use it. Paramahansa Yogananda said that attunement with the divine will is the most important factor in achieving success or attracting success. And how can we develop that? And the way we do that is through prayer. And it doesn't matter how you view God, prayer is effective. It's been scientifically proven that groups of people praying can actually have a significant influence on effects. It's been particularly measured in terms of health and energy transference. Another quote from Paramahansa Yogananda says, Do not continue to live in the same old way. Make up your mind to do something to improve your life and then do it. Change your consciousness. That is all that's necessary. So how do you change your consciousness? You change it through prayer. More so, he goes on to say in another quote, When God does not respond to your prayers, it is because you are not in earnest. If you offer him dry imitation prayers, you cannot expect to claim the Heavenly Father's attention. The only way to reach God through prayer is by persistence, regularity and depth of earnestness. Cleanse your mind of all negation such as fear, worry, anger. Then fill it with thoughts of love, service and joyous expectation. In the sanctum of your heart there must be enshrined one power, one joy, one peace that is God. And it was mentioned there that your prayers may not be answered if they're not in earnest. But so often our prayers are answered and we don't recognize the answer. We don't see the opportunities that are being presented to overcome whatever difficulty it is that we were praying about. Because we get too wrapped up in our own little world. We have to expand our horizons to encompass all the gifts that are given to us and then make up our mind to take advantage of those gifts and those opportunities and those blessings. And I know for a fact that even the most sceptical people, the most ardent atheists, in times of true trouble and stress, inwardly their soul turns them towards prayer. I've experienced it in myself. And I've seen it in others. And so I want to leave you with my prayer for humanity for this day. Today I pray for you a heart free of sadness, a mind free of worries, a life full of gladness, a body free of illness, and a day full of God's blessings. Amen.